All wolves are predatory creatures of the canine family, which means they are all dangerous by default. Still, among these creatures, there are some of the most dangerous individuals. For example, a wolf that has been hunted for several years, a predator that easily breaks its prey's bones with a single bite, or ultra-resistant creatures that are not afraid of cold or heat. More in this episode. Today I will show you the most dangerous wolves in the world and tell you what they can do. Let's go. The Custer Wolf Let's start with the wolf which many call the most dangerous in history. The Custer Wolf has become a true legend. For several years, he's terrorized Custer County in South Dakota, USA. It's believed that he became so cruel after hunters shot one of the females in his pack. After that, the Custer Wolf made enemies of all but his relatives. He began to hunt livestock in the area, killing innocent animals. His cruelty could only be matched by his cunning. He killed his victims with finesse and animal rage at the same time. One day he was in one place, and the next day he was devastating a ranch 50 kilometers away. The wolf was hunted, but every time he managed to get away unharmed. He bypassed traps with poison, saw traps from a distance, and was not caught by even the most experienced hunters. At one point, he became so invulnerable that he was thought to be bewitched, but eventually it was over. In 1921, the most dangerous wolf in history was neutralized. Nowadays, there are no such creepy wolves, but there are other frightening wolves. For example, the Mackenzie Valley Wolf. Many experts believe that it is the most dangerous wolf in the world, and it makes sense. First, it is a very large creature. The Mackenzie Valley Wolf grows to 3 feet in height and weighs up to 174 pounds. Secondly, the jaws of this wolf are equipped with an impressive set of large and sharp teeth. The bite force of the Mackenzie Valley Wolf is about 398 pounds per square inch, which is enough to break the bones of its prey. The prey can be both a small animal and a large animal, for example, bison, moose, deer, or muskox. In terms of attack, the Mackenzie Valley Wolf is extremely dangerous, but it is just as strong in defense. It lives in the north of America, in western Canada and Alaska. That is where the climate is very harsh, but this wolf doesn't care. It is able to tolerate extreme temperatures. It has a special resistance of the body which helps it in battles. This wolf is able to move through rugged terrain and it can walk more than 60 miles in a day, helped by its large and well-developed lungs. Gray Wolf Few wolves could match the Mackenzie Valley Wolf, but the Gray Wolf certainly could. The Mackenzie Valley Wolf is only a subspecies of the Gray Wolf. Well, the Gray Wolf itself is the most famous wolf in the world. At the same time, it is the largest. Its body length, excluding the tail, can reach 5.2 feet. The tail length can exceed 20 inches. The height of the Gray Wolf is almost 3.2 feet and it weighs about 220 pounds. All this data is already enough to understand that the Gray Wolf is extremely strong and dangerous. But the main weapon of the Gray Wolf is not its size, but intelligence and cohesion. It is no secret that wolves often hunt in packs. Several of these predators can easily kill even a large bull, deer, moose, and so on. Gray wolves living in the Arctic region can even confront and defeat polar bears. The teeth of the gray wolf can withstand the load of more than 10 megapascals and are both its main weapon of attack and its main means of defense. Alaskan Tundra Wolf Next up is another extremely dangerous wolf and perhaps the most resistant of all. And this isn't surprising because the Alaskan Tundra Wolf, as the name suggests, lives in the North region, in the Arctic to be more precise. Extremely low temperatures, unfriendly terrain, cold winds, frozen soil, and not much prey. All this would destroy many other animals, but not these wolves. They were able to adapt to the Arctic and learn how to get their food there. They are a threat to local musk oxen, reindeer, Arctic hares, and lemmings. The Alaskan tundra wolf's hunting is different from the gray wolf's hunting. These northern predators can hunt for days or weeks, wandering through the cold areas of hundreds of square miles. This is how they track their prey. They either wear it out or keep their distance and don't show themselves to attack at the most unexpected moment. For humans, the Alaskan tundra wolf is not as dangerous as the gray wolf. This is because there are very few people in the Arctic and they don't often cross paths with these wolves. Not all wolves live in cold regions. There are also the opposite cases, for example, the Arabian wolf. As its name implies, it can be found on the Arabian Peninsula. If the Alaskan tundra wolf is adapted to live in the icy Arctic, then this predator feels great among the scorching sands of the desert. 
There, Arabian wolves pose a threat to many local animals. Arabian wolves can attack and devour any domestic animal up to the size of a ram. In addition, rabbits, rodents, ungulates, and carrion also serve as food for the Arabian wolves. Farmers do not like all this, so they often hunt and trap Arabian wolves. In a way, the Arabian wolf can be called unique because it has no distinctive wolf trait. No one has heard these wolves howling. Instead, they make some strange sounds. Some other wolves are also unique. Some are exceptionally beautiful. Some don't even look like real wolves. and Some are extremely rare and on the verge of extinction. Keep watching to see them all. Arctic Wolf This wolf lives in North America on a group of Arctic islands and in northern Greenland. In part, it resembles the Alaskan tundra wolf, which inhabits approximately the same areas, but is a different subspecies. This wolf is often called the most beautiful in the world. An individual of this subspecies is distinguished by its light white or gray fur. Despite the fact that this wolf is similar to the Alaskan tundra wolf, as well as a subspecies of the gray wolf, it's inferior to them in terms of danger and hunting. When hunting, the Arctic wolf faces a lot of problems. For example, reindeer are much faster than it, so predators have to hunt these deer only in large groups. It's even more difficult for this wolf to hunt musk oxen. When attacked, they form a tight ring, hiding young individuals inside. Ethiopian Wolf This is probably one of the strangest wolves on the planet. First of all, it's officially called a jackal, the simian jackal to be more precise. Secondly, it looks more like a fox. And thirdly, it still belongs to the genus of wolves. In short, I don't know what kind of creature it is. It's like all mixed up in it. This is why it appeared in this episode. The Ethiopian wolf is remarkable for its long legs, which is unusual for many of its relatives, as well as for its unique red color. These creatures live in Ethiopia, as the name implies, and it's a great luck to see them there. That's because the Ethiopian wolf is on the verge of extinction. It's estimated that there are only about 500 individuals of this species left in the world which makes the Ethiopian wolf one of the rarest creatures on the planet. Maned Wolf The next creature in this episode somewhat resembles the Ethiopian wolf, the same fox appearance, red color, long paws, and unusual appearance in general. But despite the outward resemblance to foxes, the maned wolf is not a close relative of them. It's a real wolf. It can be found in South America, and it's easier to do so than stumbling upon an Ethiopian wolf in Africa. Maned wolves are not endangered. In addition to their unusual appearance, these unique wolves are distinguished by something else. Male maned wolves emit a deep, throaty bark, this sound that can usually be heard after the sun goes down. Also, these wolves can howl and even grunt, which is how they drive away opponents and communicate with each other. Mexican Wolf An extremely rare wolf subspecies is next in line. Scientists estimate that there are less than 400 Mexican wolves left in the world. The last known Mexican wolf in the wild was killed back in 1960. Since then, a program has been underway to restore the Mexican wolf within the pre-existing habitats. But so far, things aren't going very fast. There are still very few Mexican wolves, with only a few hundred in the whole world. Dohole And finally, one of the most unique and rarest wolves on the planet, which many call the rarest member of the canine family. Those who have been able to see the Daholi for themselves claim that its appearance is incredibly peculiar and bears little resemblance to the classic version of the gray wolf. It's rather a cross between a fox, a wolf, and a jackal. In terms of size, the red wolf is comparable to the German Shepherd. These creatures live in South Asia, where they're scattered across various countries and regions. Currently, various measures are being taken to conserve this amazing animal, but it's possible that the population will not be saved and the rarest wolf will become extinct in the near future. That's all, guys. Which wolf impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you later.